Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining me, The Televisionary. Let's get talking. The Good Doctor ABC season finale of The Freshman number one drama. This episode, yes, there are spoilers, so if you haven't watched it yet, take a look, then come back to the video. Take a watch, then come back to the video. This episode basically revolved around the diagnosis of Dr. Glassman that has shocked every viewer, including me. Yes, made me cry. Yes, again, on television. And Dr. Sean Murphy. Basically, the entire season has revolved a big storyline, a core storyline, around their relationship. He's the mentor, Dr. Glassman. Dr. Sean is, of course, the student who's being coached, who needs Dr. Glassman. Throughout the, throughout the season, they have had a relationship of strain where Dr. Murphy was upset with Dr. Glassman because he was trying to teach him and trying to love and care for him and Dr. Murphy did not want that. So they separated. Well, in this episode, Dr. Sean really realizes how much Dr. Glassman means to him. And Aaron also realizes how much he means to Sean. I tweeted that Dr. Glassman is very protective of Sean, but I believe Sean is extremely more protective of Aaron. And that was evident in tonight's episode, especially the scene where they hugged and he said, I love you more. Yeah, I teared up. I was tweeting about it. Just just a tearjerker, gut-wrenching, just, just so emotional. So Dr. Glassman has this inoperable brain tumor and Dr. Sean Murphy doesn't want to believe it. Well, it intertwined with the storyline of the student who was in the fraternity who decided to eat Tide to go and also was on other drugs. And Dr. Sean made a mistake in the operating room because his, he, he was so consumed by the concern of Dr. Glassman. So, you know, another time where the stories are intertwined, and they were really the only storylines on this episode. Well, the head honchos who gave Dr. Sean Murphy this chance, we see in the cliffhanger that Dr. Sean and Dr. Glassman could go and admit to what took place. So that means Dr. Sean would be out of a job and they would get, they would, they would get rid of him permanently and Dr. Glassman would step down. Now, that's the cliffhanger. So do we think, I want your opinions, do we think that the truth is going to come out or that's the cliffhanger to keep us watching for next year and they're gonna decide not to talk about it? Because obviously, how would the show go on unless he's forgiven for Dr. Sean to not be the doctor anymore? That's what the show revolves around. And for Dr. Glassman, I mean, obviously he's sick, but he can still, you know, work. And do we think that Dr. Glassman is going to leave the show? Is he going to die on the show? Because obviously the core of this show is their relationship, as I've stated many times. So share your thoughts and comments on that from the episode overall with the finale to the storylines in the finale and also where the cliffhanger will take us. Obviously, with them getting a second season for next year, we have to see how many episodes, we have to see what night it's on, how, you know, the timing, but I'm sure, you know, uh, the creator and David Shore and also the writers, they will create a whole, a plethora of, you know, storylines and characters for next season. But overall, I think what really proved in this episode is how powerful relationships can be. Whether it's a family relationship, a friend relationship, a mentor coaching. And for me, I really experienced, you know, Dr. Sean needs Dr. Glassman so much, but Dr. Glassman also needs Dr. Sean. And just the wording, I mean, this episode was such a tearjerker. The only, the only area where I think I even laughed was when he said he had a bowel movement and he was really going to regurgitate because he was so consumed and upset about this. So I would feel, I feel that next season will really play on their relationship and him dealing with, with Dr. Glassman being sick. What are your thoughts? Uh, you know, it, it just, it's a show that is just changing television. I mean, obviously, from getting someone like me to watch medical dramas, but, you know, telling these stories of autism and other various storylines that they played that relate to today's day and age. What do we think overall of the season finale of season one, the freshman year? 
What do we think for next year? Share your thoughts, share your comments. Good Doctor fans, certainly subscribe because there will be more videos coming. However, it's sad to say that this will be the last one for the year until the show returns next year. However, I will talk about the show. I will talk about the show in my, in my, my videos, especially the big project I'm working on, so stay tuned for that. Follow me on Twitter at Adam King of TV3. Give me a thumbs up if you like the videos. Share the videos with all Good Doctor fans. Get more people involved in The Good Doctor so we have a bigger group, you know, a following next year. It's all for you guys. Thank you for the love and the support from every episode, every review video, this entire year of The Good Doctor on ABC at 10 o'clock on Mondays. I am so blessed, thankful, humbled, and grateful to you guys because without you guys, I wouldn't be doing these, you know, every episode uh, reviews. I don't do it for any other show. Well, Riverdale I did. But, you know, The Good Doctor is such an inspirational show and it inspires you guys, inspires me, so I gotta make these videos. But yeah, tonight was definitely a gut-wrenching tearjerker uh, to definitely see the character development of Dr. Sean and Dr. Glassman and even Dr. Melendez for coming to Dr. Sean's rescue when in the beginning he didn't like him. As for Dr. Andrews, that could be another story. You know, the honchos of the hospital, like I said, we have to wait and see next year. There was the cliffhanger there. So, but yeah, this will be the last uh, review video of The Good Doctor um, until next year. And stay tuned. There's more coming to the channel. I'm working on things. I was talking to my buddy, the Chatter, uh, Chatterbox Reviews. And I'm excited to bring you guys uh, something that I've been working on for a while. It just has to, uh, it's in the pilot stages, so we'll see where it goes. So... Thank you again for the continued love and the support. Good Doctor fans, if you haven't seen this episode, definitely go see it. Then come back to the video. If you have seen it, start sharing your thoughts and comments, especially on Dr. Sean and Dr. Glassman. Because how many of us have that friend who we want to push away for you know, a reason that we're upset about, mainly because they love us too much or they, they want to help or they care too much, and then it could be too late? That's what this episode related to. Everyone's relationships. Yes, good and bad. Thanks again, Televisionary.